On today's episode of Watch Chair Go, we jump back on the tracker. What is going on guys? I'm Watch Chair Go and today we're going to work on the tracker again. I keep getting a bunch of comments about that. I will get to the cars. I promise you, we work on all of them. But first, I have to give a huge heartfelt thank you to all of you for watching. All of the new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Uh, everything blew up after the fired video yesterday and uh, now I have more free time. So, first thing, the tracker. Uh, there's plenty more to do and a subscriber sent me a gauge cluster for this because the old gauge cluster, uh, the speedometer jumps all over the place when you're driving. It'll, like you'll be going 20, but it says 40 and it'll jump over to like uh, all the needle will peg at the bottom, which would be like a hundred or something like that, right? So it's just completely random and uh, we're just gonna put it on an entirely new gauge cluster and hopefully solve the problem. But first we need to be able to roll the windows down. So uh, we're gonna roll them back up. I had one crank still in here that was on the car before and we like switch it between windows and crank them up and the clip's missing and all that. So let me grab that crank right, right here. And it's, uh, it's faded and dirty. And right here, I have a brand new ones from Amazon. They feel a little lightweight, but they do have pressed in uh, metal splines and the clips are on them. And this has plastic splines and half of them are missing. So uh, I think it's an upgrade. I'm excited about that. We're gonna snap them on real fast. So let me hop in here, roll the window up. I wanna make sure these cranks are even set to the same direction because that should be kind of cool. All right, hold the door for me, Zach. I got you, Ben. <laughs> there it goes. Locked in, awesome. Nice. Oh, these work so much better and they have the washer and everything. Perfect. Okay, this video is done. We're uh, finished with the geo track. <laughs> I'm kidding. And for the passenger side. <laughs> Here we go. Brand new cranks. So we got this box open. Sorry. <laughs> what? I just dove in. Oh, no, you're fine. Hop, hop right in. I think we have to tear the column stuff off here around the wheel. Uh, man, we've been in here a bunch lately. And then uh, take the cluster surround out, and then we can get the gauges out. And the hardest part of this whole thing is the speedometer cable on these. It's terrible mm -hmm. to get off. Uh, I fought that for a long time. I do wish I had LEDs for it, but uh, yeah, I was just gonna say. Remember when we used to do that on all our cars? yeah, literally uh, the Fox body. We did the LEDs. The Dodge. The Dodge. Everything had LEDs, yep. and it was all so nice. The Corvette. Uh, um, the C5 got them. Go time. All right, we'll flip all that stuff out of the way. I don't know if I have to take this off. I bet I do actually. So let me let me start underneath. It's just a bunch of Phillips screws on here. I think there's three on the bottom of this to get it done. Oh, dropped a screw. Uh-oh. It went on this brand new carpet we just put in here, so I'm not upset one bit. All right, so that kind of pops up and out. This should let me pull this around with just these two Phillips screws right here. All right, there's two more Phillips screws buried in there, way back there. It was probably a lot easier to work on this last time. Is your steering wheel all the way down? Uh, the steering wheel does not adjust on the Geo Tracker. What? So you know, it's uh, it's definitely fixed. That's stupid. <laughs> Aha! Okay, there's just four Phillips screws that hold in the gauge cluster, and then I do need to swap over the gauge cluster face because I cleaned that one like so well with Plastic X, and there's no scratches in this cluster, and the new one actually has, it's really scratched up. So we're gonna take care of this. One more Phillips screw, and uh, the gauge cluster is free. Then we get to do the hardest part of this entire job, which is the good old speedometer cable. The wiring comes right out. The speedometer cable, oh, nightmare. nightmare. The worst part of the whole job. And uh, I'm gonna go find a magnet to save that last screw. It's right down there. Doctor, it's time for some surgery. I'm a licensed physician. Okay, I have no idea where the screw went, but I think I got it. I just kinda. What's that? What's, Aha! That, what's that game where you were? Operation. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is a. Getting this out of here is no joke. I have to play Tetris. Oh, it's so close. There it goes. 
Cluster out. It's time to swap this cover onto the other one. Uh, let's see, I released it once before. Just hit all these tabs. That should do it. Comes out pretty easily. This one's all cleaned inside too. I vacuumed it all out last time. Now we have to disassemble the new one. Luckily this one can go away because it's really dirty. The needles move better in this. Just blowing on it, they moved, so. Let's just stay stationary. Yeah, that, that cluster is toast, man. So there we go. This time we're gonna try to go the other direction and see if it's easier to get the cluster in. I don't think there's any easy way to get this thing in. Or is there? Is this the easy way? Okay, I think it's gonna be stuck on the uh, hazard button now. The hazard button comes out. Now I gotta turn this thing sideways and get everything hooked back up. All three connectors are right along its, there goes one. And where's that last one at? All the connectors are in. Put the gauge cluster back in its spot. Lights up. Uh oh, one light is burnt out. Since we're still like kind of out, I think I can reach the bulb. It's the gigantic bulb right here. Okay, let's see if the other one's good. I got it back in. Now if I can just twist that bulb. And I got it. Okay, so now all we have to do is get this thing all lined up, put it back in its little tabs. Test it. Green lights everywhere. Perfect, perfect, all the way around. Uh, where'd all the screws go for that? It is these four screws right here. And this car just keeps getting new everything. At some point, I'm gonna have to stop. There is a point where you just have to say, enough is enough. No more working on the tracker. Compared to where it was when we oh, got it at first. Yes, the $400 tracker. Yeah. I still like to add up all the receipts from the $400 tracker. I wish we would have gotten video of us towing it back. Oh yeah? Because it was a nightmare. Was it? Yes. <laughs> Luckily you had me as the driver. Yeah. Nice, that all buttoned back up. Let's go for a test drive. It's done, done and done. So far so good, we've got lights, we've got tack. Now for the big test. This is where we find out that the new cluster doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh. It's still shaky, but it's accurate. That's, I'll take accurate any day. The Rampage cluster is shaky too. Those cables need looped up. Oh, it's so much better. It says 20 mile an hour, we're going 20. And we're not doing 55. Yeah, and it's not flipping down to 100. We're good, that's it. So it probably needs a cable, unfortunately. I hate to pull the cluster out one more time, but uh, I just couldn't get a cable in time. I had the cluster and I was like, well, let's work on this thing. It's been a long time since I've worked on it. Still no fuel gauge either. We need to do the sender. Yeah, sender's on the list. Well, let's go drive this around. We're gonna rock out. So much better. Let's check out Waze. Oh, Zach fired up Waze. So we're at 39 on Waze and 39 on the cluster. I was not expecting dead on accuracy, like within one mile an hour. That's amazing. Temp gauge works great. Everything's back. All, all we're missing is the fuel gauge. You don't need fuel. No, it's full. I know that. <laughs> I mean, it's barely been driven and I filled it up the last time. So. I think they said it gets like 250. The seller said that he would fill it up. 250 on a tank. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I bet this thing gets that. This is our first time off-roading in this thing. <laughs> I hope this isn't wet right here. When you get oh, to the, dude, it's wet. When you get to the bottom, just go. I know, right? I think we're gonna have to do it now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you off, bro. You gotta turn into it. Yep. Yes. Oh, go. dude, we were not gonna make that. Yes, we were. <laughs> I was like, this can't do it. Oh, that's, what a killer. This thing has gotta be. <laughs> Of course I killed it. I was in third. This is so much fun off-road. When you're in a full-size truck, you're like, you have to take everything really seriously. And when you're in this, you're like, oh, it'd be fun if we just smashed into this. I don't care. Yeah, this is awesome. And it does really well with the studded tires. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's go back and then we can take that bridge over. And if we go over the bridge, we can get into the dirt. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hopping back on the road. I'm staying in it. <laughs> I have to, if I don't, we might get stuck. <laughs> oh, that seatbelt hurts. Okay, that was super fun. Oh, no! A little mud? 
No, that's a sheriff. Oh, perfect timing. It took forever to find this for sure. All right, it looks dry though. Some mud. Yeah, I don't want to get stuck. That's my main thing here. going. What I tell ya. <laughs> Why is this thing amazing? Do you think it'll do donuts? Oh my gosh! <laughs> First time we've ever been off-roading in this truck and it is mind-blowingly good. We did donuts, it's covered in dirt, it's covered in mud, it's so dirty. I'm in love with the truck. Two wheel drive, four cylinder, and it goes anywhere. All right, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Full power. Oh no! <laughs> Not quite enough meat on them tires. It was spinning. <laughs> All right, we'll try one more time. I'll hit it. I'll hit it hard. I think I had enough wheel speed. Shoot. It's bottomed out so hard. <laughs> Thank you, gravity. <laughs> oh my gosh, it hit my face. Is this truck? Oh no. It's 1 a.m. The tracker just got stuck. We've been out having fun all night long. We went up this huge hill that's way back there and high centered it coming back down the hill. The hill's cut out like this on one side and then like nice and smooth down on the other. And I ended up right on the edge and the front wheel is hanging off on the cut part. So the tracker is completely stuck, high centered on the frame. Amber's coming with her truck to pull us out. We, we need, tried everything. We need four wheel drive. We picked it up, we put rocks under it. Nothing, it's just stuck. <laughs> well we made some tracker progress thanks zach got you and uh shout out to josh for letting us use his garage as always the air conditioning is amazing and thank you guys so much for watching and please like share subscribe do whatever you want to do and i will talk to you next time